Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Get downstream. Get downstream of the fish, always. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think that's a willow. That's a native. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. We're gonna get nerdy here for a minute. Hold on, let me get my brain ready. Let's talk about aquatic entomology. Trout bugs. Entomology. Bugs. Trout food. Aquatic insects. Mayflies, stoneflies, caddisflies, and midges. We're gonna keep it basic. I'm gonna generalize everything. There are exceptions to all of this. I'm gonna use common names and terms. You can put your Latin book away. We're not gonna get all sciencey here. Yay! You've probably heard trout like to eat insects. That's true. The trout are living in the river, which is a big conveyor belt of food, just waiting for stuff to come to them. Bugs. You probably think matching the hatch is important. It's not. So I'll humor you and explain how to identify some of these insects. Well, how do I know what bugs are in the river? If you want to find the bugs that live where you're fishing, there's several places you can look. You can see what's flying around in the air. Shake some bushes and see what flies out of them. Check spider webs that you find. Look on the surface of the water and see what's floating on it. Look on the edges of the river and see what's washing up there. One common method is to turn over rocks and see what's living on them. You could do a stomach pump. You probably didn't see the big eye roll I just did. Some people like to use a seine to find out what's in the water. I think it's unnecessary and a complete waste of time. But if you're into that, whatever. At least it's better than stomach pumping. I've never used a seine and I've caught at least five fish, so I think that's pretty good. All right, let's dive in. Let's start with mayflies. Probably the bug everyone's heard of the most. They're the glamour bugs of fly fishing, which sounds really weird. They have some pretty fancy names. The pale morning dun, the march brown, the quill gordon. Side note, it's trico, not trico. Then there's the big beefy green drake. Green drakes are pretty cool though. You wanna know my favorite fly for a green drake hatch? Royal wolf. Royal wolf, the young mayflies, or nymphs. They live in the water, crawling around on the rocks and under the rocks. Usually pretty small, kind of wedge-shaped. Some are shorter and fatter, some are longer and more slender. You might see some antennae. They usually have three tails on the back end. The mayfly nymph lives in the water for a year or two, and then it hatches out into an adult. Most mayflies swim up through the water column, then they float on the surface as they're emerging from their shuck and waiting for their wings to dry out so they can fly around. That's when they're pretty vulnerable to trout. The nymph hatches into a dun. The duns typically have opaque wings. You can't see through them. Then that dun molts again into what we call a spinner. That's the form of mayfly that does the mating and the egg laying. The spinners have clear wings. Sometimes they have a more slender body and they might have big old eyes too. Best way to identify a mayfly is look at its wing. The wings look like a sail on a sailboat. They're straight up and held together. And when you see them flying around, they're really graceful and smooth flyers, like me. You might see groups of them bouncing over the water. Those are mayflies. They basically spend one day as an adult, do their mating thing, and then die. It's kind of tragic if you think about it. All right, moving on. Next bug, stoneflies. Not quite as common as mayflies. They require cleaner, more oxygenated water. They're more of a blue collar bug. That's my style. You've probably heard of salmon flies or golden stones. There are a lot of other ones too. The nymphs look a lot like mayfly nymphs, but they're bigger and beefier. Bigger equals more fun. You can fish bigger tippets. They usually have two tails. Again, the nymphs will live underwater for a couple years before they come an adult. Different than the mayfly, stoneflies hatch by crawling out on the bank and then emerging from their shuck on whatever structure is there. You've probably seen the shuck stuck to rocks and willow bushes. Those are stoneflies. Stoneflies are not good flyers. Ow! They're pretty clumsy and bump into things and fall in the water. And that's when fish eat them. With a good stonefly hatch, the nymphs will crawl out of the water in the morning dry out on the bank, then start flying in the afternoon when it's warmer. So fish nymphs in the morning, dries in the afternoon. Or you could just be a snob and fish dries all the time. Snob. You can identify adult stoneflies by their flat wings. The adults hold their wings flat together over their back. Moving on. Okay, next bug, caddisflies. Caddisflies? No, caddis. The young ones live in the water. Caddis larvae look like little worms. They got six legs up front, three on each side. Brownish or olive, sometimes even bright green. Some caddis flies are free living, meaning they just crawl around. Some of them spin a net out of silk. Others will make their own house out of sticks or pebbles or sand or who knows what. When a caddis fly is ready to hatch, first they undergo a transformation underwater into a pupa. Pupa. Then when they're ready, they swim up through the water column 
come and burst through the water surface and fly away. They don't ride on top of the water like a mayfly. So if you ever see trout jumping out of the water to catch bugs or splashy rises all over the place, they're probably eating caddisflies. Adult caddisflies have tent-shaped wings. They hold them like this over their back. You might see a couple antennae off of their head. If you see them flying around, they basically look like a moth. All flittery and jittery and jumpy, but it's not a moth, it's caddis. Caddis, no, caddis! Did you like this video and subscribe to my channel yet? Next bug? The next bug is midges. They're super nerdy and super effective. I'll tell you straight up, I'm not a fan. I don't like midges. Some guys love them. I don't. I don't like small flies and tippets. I just like the big stuff. Unfortunately, midges work really well and they are an important source of food for the trout, especially in winter. Yeah, midges are important, but you do have alternatives. You can just choose not to fish them. But what about matching the hatch? You could just choose not to. You don't have to match the hatch. I prefer to not match the hatch. It's just more fun for me that way. Midges. The larvae look like little tiny worms. The adults basically look like a small mosquito. You'll often see big clouds of them flying around in the air or hovering over the water surface. Side note, coronamids are really just midges. You hear that pyramid, boys? You guys are midge fishermen. No way, I only throw the meat. You're a liar. All right, that's it for this week. Go look for some bugs, go catch some fish, stay huge. Bye-bye.